Gavor was free standard galactic days from leaving the military. He thumbed through some entries in his journal with his paws, pausing to stroke his worn claw across a holopic of his wife and three cubs. The Karen were a proud and noble race, but they had their softer sides, not like the enemies they were chasing across this part of the galaxy. The Arathos were a ruthless insectoid race with bioengineered technology. What they couldn't destroy, they would effect with everything from logic plagues for the shipboard AI systems, a fancy way of saying programmed paradoxes, to actual biological warfare that would consume and dissolve all living tissue. Preventing boarding was Cavour's job. Seven seconds to contact. The cold and comfortingly neutral voice of the ship's AI stated. Cavour and his squadron of shock troopers manned the main airlocks, waiting for the telltale thud of a boarding vessel latching to the side. Be ready, men. Bioshields at maximum. A thick smell of ozone filled the air as the personal shields energized around them, giving each trooper a faint light blue glow. Thud. The ship shuddered as the boarding pod latched onto the airlock, extending its tendrils around the side of the ship. A metallic gnashing could be heard outside as the mandibles of the half-organic, half-machine began chewing its way through the airlock doors. Soon, the Aranthos would begin spewing out the more of the boarding pod's orifice. Nash. Crunch. Nash. Crunch. Airlock integrity filled failing. The AI chimed in. Slightly more stilted than usual. The plague, Gavor thought to himself. We'd lose AI control of the ship. Trip it to Dahl. Secure the shipboard AI. Gavor looked over his shoulder to see the trooper enter the quorum and a second later the confirmation that the AI had been deactivated. A new trick they had learned in dealing with the Aranthos. Form up. Squad A on me. Squad B at junction 3. The orders conveyed a confidence that Kavor did not actually possess at that moment. The ship's automated system sounded off. Hull breach. Emergency. Hull breach. Far less tackle those systems, eh, Chieftain? One of the troopers quipped. Shut up and fire, Kavor yelled as the first of the Arathos soldier cast poured into the hallway. Covered in a red exoskeleton, and the signature three white stripes of their cast, the creatures stood twice the height of a Karen, and had to stoop slightly in the corridor. Immediately sensing the trap, the Arathos lifted its wing casings and emitted a cloud of orange gas, before a laser bolt ripped his head clean off. Masks, Gavor ordered. While the bioshields could prevent the usual bioweapons, it did nothing for the neurotoxins the soldiers could emit. The squad's armor automatically extended the breathing masks over the muzzles of the troopers as two more warriors entered the hallway, only to be ripped to shreds by the Karen rifles. Squad B, cover us. The boarders were repelled one by one as Squad A advanced the airlock. Kara, place the charge. A smaller of the troopers, but much more agile in light armor, ran forward and threw a satchel into the mouth of the boarding pod. Seconds later, it abruptly began foaming at the throat. Now, Cavour yelled. A structural force field erected itself across the airlock, just as the boarding pod fell off dead. Captain, the boarding pod is neutralized, Gavor said, as they began tossing parts of Arathros' bodies through the field and into space. Good to hear, Chieftain, but we have some unidentified guests here. Get to tactical as soon as you can. This may get ugly for us. Gavor left his troopers to do their jobs, and sprinted on all fours to the tactical center of the bridge. What are they? Simeon, we think. Can't be sure. Very strong, though. The captain spoke as he pulled up a hollow image of a strange-looking ship entering the combat area. You only got half a boarding party visiting you because it looks like the Arathros are already dealing with these creatures, he mentioned, as the image zoomed out to show the majority of the Arathros fleet focusing its attention on this new ship and losing badly. The ship appeared to be roughly rectangular with a long row of cargo containers and tanks trailing behind it. Several gun placements were rapidly tracking and destroying the Rathros ships all around it. Suddenly, the communication system lit up. <laughs> Came across the ship's comms. Engineer Gold, re-engage shipboard AI as soon as the rogue logic phase processes are cleared, the captain said. Gold ran to the quorum as fast as his legs would carry him. After a few moments, AI engaged, sir, came Gold's reply. R96, are you online and functional? The captain asked the ship's systems. Yes, sir. Performing battlefield analysis. New species discovered. 
there's not much any known records. Analyzing, complete. Species call themselves humans and originate from a star system projected to be near here as the human vessel does not appear to be capable of warp travel. Negotiating with human communication system. Compatible radio wave system detected at 27.185 MHz. Sending linguistic codex. Human vessel contains AI of similar capability. Negotiating. Negotiating. Success. Language exchanges added to universal translator matrix. The communication was repeated in Karen. This is Deep Space Hauler Snowman of the Soul System. We see you got a bit of a bug problem. We'll have it cleared up in a few minutes, then maybe we can grab a beer. Snowman out. <laughs>